Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devedi. On November 3rd, 1957, a dog named Laika was sent to space via Sputnik 2. Why was she sent? Why was she chosen? What was the value of it? And let's remember Laika. Moving ahead from the perspective of films and from the perspective of G.S. Main's paper, third. It's important that you understand this topic as well as G.S. Main's paper 4. An ethical dilemma could occur when we talk about sending living organisms into space when they do not give their consent. Moving ahead, let's talk about these different topics. What was Sputnik 2? Who was Laika and why was she chosen? Why did Soviet Union want to send animals to space in the first place? What happened during the mission? Was Laika the first animal or a living organism to be sent into space? Has there been more testing post Laika? And a question in the last. Moving ahead, let's talk about Sputnik 2. Sputnik 1 was spent, sent into space in 1957, October 4th. Okay, this ensured that US fields lagged behind USSR. Another very important thing is that first, Sputnik 1 went into space in 1957, October 4th. Just a month after that, just a month after that, we have Sputnik 2 that was sent on November 3rd, 1957. So, in a very short span of time, USSR rode like a giant animal in front of USA when it comes to space. Nikita Khrushchev, he wanted that, you know, the flight of Sputnik 2 should coincide with the 40th anniversary of Russia's Bolshevik Revolu Revolution. And there was another catch here. Not only that, but also sending a dog into space. Now, this ensured that the US fell further behind. Moving ahead, let's talk about Laika. Laika was a stray dog. She was picked up from the streets of Moscow and she was designated as a cosmonaut because she had to go to space. Just a week before the launch, she was picked up. She was a female part Samoyed Terrier. She was originally named Kudryapka, which means little curly. And she was later named on as Laika. Laika is Russian for husky or barker. In USA, she was dubbed as Matnik. She was just 6 kg. As she was a female, she was pretty bright in color. These two were the criteria so because they were easy. To, the female uh, is a little smaller than the male version. And as she was bright in color, it would be easier to record her footage. She was small size and her demeanor was very calm. And as I've said, automatically better suited to close confinement because of space issues. Moving ahead, let's talk about why did the Soviet Union wanted to spend, uh, send a dog into space. First, before the humans went into space, there was a general understanding that humans might not be able to survive the extreme conditions in space. So, we should send any other living organism first. That is why here comes utilization of animals, mainly monkeys, chimps, dogs, dogs, even spiders have been sent, fruit flies have been sent to space. Apart from that, fish, amphibian like frog has also been sent. But this was being done. Why? To test for, uh, supposedly we are talking about US and USSR, they were doing so in order to test each other's capability of space technology. So, first that. And not only this was one of the uh, one of the things, one of the criteria that you have to send uh, a dog into space or a chimp into space, but you have to also bring them safely back. Then only we can think about sending humans. We do not want to send humans so that they die in space. Similarly, it was with the dog. So dogs, for dogs, it is easier because of microgravity and other aspects of what space flight might do to a human body. It was easier. And the dog is brightly colored. This was one of the reasons Laika was chosen. And these are also most obedient and most tolerant of no uh, noise pollution. And 
also air pressure changes for the experiment that could be taken so that is why dogs were chosen like i was chosen so what happened during the mission was like i was put in a pressurized cubicle and enough space was given that she could lie down and she could stand an air generation system was also fitted that provided oxygen food and water dispensed in a gelatinized form like it happens in space humans for humans as well like i was fitted with a harness a bag to collect her waste and electrodes to monitor what her vital signs were initially she was agitated during the launch but later she was eating her food that was be seen she would run out of oxygen after about 10 days of orbiting the earth this was the main uh, presumption the 10 days uh, are our uh, you can say day ranges up until where like a can survive now because of the thermal problems she probably this is still a probably theoretically she survived just for a day or two poor like a now because of noises and the pressure of the flight her heart rate increased to triple in the morning and then her breath also quadrupled she reached the orbit alive and circled the earth in about 103 meters moving ahead also heat shield made the temperature in the capsule rise because of this the temperature inside the spacecraft after the fourth orbit registered over 90 degrees after which beyond which it is presumed that lyca did not survive these might be the reasons and this is a stamp of lyca which was commemorated in her memory this used to work not only in russia but also other countries as well moving ahead let's talk about was like the first animal ever to be sent into space this is not true because usa sent some fruit flies in february 1947 apart from like a being very famous to be the first dog to go into space daisy can sigyan in 1951 were also the two dogs to be sent into space but not actually space uh, not uh, actually space why because they were done uh, they were launched only during suborbital launches okay and restless monkey mice to fly trapped during the second world war were sent to its v2 and aero missile projects russia used to keep an eye on these and this sent restless monkeys into space by uh, soviet union moving ahead let's talk about this timeline 1947 two flies were sent into space 1951 dogs desikan sigyan then 1957 uh, we see lyca as well okay then we have monkey sam in 1959 who was sent to space in 1960 dog belka and strelka were also there 1961 chimp ham went to space and in april 1961 cosmonaut yuri gagarin he orbited the earth the first ever man in may 1961 american astronaut alan shepard then 1961 chimp enos then February 1962, American astronaut John Glenn went to orbit the Earth. Moving ahead, before Laika, there were 36 dogs the Soviets sent into space. Remember this. Now, over the past 50 years since her demise, Laika's demise, we witness that American Soviet scientists have used animals for testing into space. Although they die or might not. get get the chance to come back to earth the information whatever vital information that could be garnered for their from their time in space is of immense value because these can be seen as sacrifices but there is an ethical dilemma with respect to if you for humans we are very well informed with respect to the problems we might face in space so we consent after knowing everything so it's an informed opinion what about animals who do not give their consent what do you think tell me in the comment section okay apart from this let's look at our question which among the following was the first ever living organism to go into space a fish a spider fruit flies a dog that's it thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.